Welcome to Bali. It is absolutely amazing. It was beautiful. It was literally everything you expected to be. It lived up to the hype. I got high expectations. It delivered. I have nothing but good things to say about Bali. But let's rewind. Getting to Bali was a whole nother story. Next on Mr. Black Adventures. I don't even know where to begin. We didn't even get to go to Bali the day the flight was scheduled to go to Bali. Literally, if you don't know by now, I live in Bangkok, okay? It's a great city. I love Bangkok. We went to the airport three hours early, get to the airport, and I will say it on tape, dumbass Jamar forgot his passport at home. So guess what? No big deal. It's 6 a.m. We'll just go back home, get the passports, and come back. Okay. Boom. Get in a taxi. Drive all the way home. And then we hit Bangkok rush hour traffic. I didn't even know if we were going to make it home by 9 o'clock, let alone make a flight by 10 o'clock. Um, here's the worst part. We had one of those trolleys where I had my basket and my trusty gimbal that I use for a lot of recording and my easy cuts. And I left it in the basket. So now I'm thinking, oh, shoot. I lost my phone with the gimbal and we're running late and it's Bangkok traffic rush hour on a Monday morning. It was a disaster. So what happens, we get back, we actually make it back to the airport and as expected, they didn't take our bags because we were too late. So then I was like, well, where's my, my camera? Where's my stuff at? Um, nowhere to be found. So I go to the checkout counter. I said, Hey, we got some great seats and I got some great seats. I'm telling you, you're going to see in a video in a second. Business class, solid. Only problem is when you miss a business class flight, it doesn't cost you a couple hundred dollars. It costs $800. Two people, $400 each just to change the day one day forward because we're late. I lost my camera. I lost my gamble. And now I got to pay cough up another $800 just to get on this business class flight because it costs more to not get on the flight at all. It's like, damned if I do, damned if I don't. So I don't know what to say. Anyway, so we go home, go to sleep, blah, blah, blah. we get back into it. Go back um, to the airport. We get on the plane. And this is when the story, this is when, it, I guess it, it, this is really a, a great thing and a, and a weird thing at the same time. I said, you know what, honey, I'm going to go to Lost and Found and see if um, the airport security, somebody was nice enough to turn in a phone or something. Because I, I really liked it. It was a Vivo X80 Pro and I love that phone. Um, I go up there and to, to my delight, somebody actually did. And whoever that good Samaritan is, if you're watching this, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, they turned in the phone, but they didn't turn in the gimbal. So it's kind of like a mix. Eh, thank you. I'd rather have the phone. I can make buy another gamble, which I did. Um, but no, it, it was a it was a weird little story. But anyways, that's how this trip started. <laughs> Bali was great, but this, it didn't start out great. But now it is. So let's get back into the video and let's talk about that business class. Get into that. So Thai Airways Royal Silk business class. You get to use their lounge at both airports on both sides of the destination points. Um, it was nice. It was a great luxury. And it was it was good because it's been a long time since I got to do business class. And I felt like, I felt good. And it, it's good to treat yourself every now and then. If you don't get a chance to treat yourself, take an opportunity. Um, but yeah, it was great. Tire Airways, they, they covered all the bases. Everything's free. If you want anything, they come by. Uh, you got you got this big screen. The food was good. Um, the wife was happy. She got the window seat. As you can see, I didn't get any of that. But let's get into the Hyatt. So we staying at the Grand Hyatt Bali. Bali Grand Hyatt, and they gave me finally. Thank you so much, Hyatt. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm not sponsoring you, but thank you. <laughs> they gave me a big butt sweet. When I say big butt sweet, this thing was huge. It was great. 
it was literally it it's a grand suite it, it was it was it was lovely uh we had a, a you know a decent view of the the pond we had you know the mosquito net the bathroom was huge it was just a really nice room um the hotel overall exceptional definitely if you're gonna stay anywhere i mean i haven't stayed at the other there's two in bali the two big ones is a regency and there's a grand hyatt uh, people say the Grand High is too far from the fast lane, but at the end of the day, I could take a taxi to go to the fast lane and stay at this beautiful hotel, which I definitely enjoy and so did my wife. I'll definitely go check out this restaurant called The Goat. If you're in the sports, sports, go Dodgers. Um, if you're in the sports, this is the place to go. They've got all the soccer matches. The deal is great. You got to listen to the lady. Hold on one sec. Hey, you're live. What's your name? Nah. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. That's cool. Does that hurt you? How, how it tickles. It, it tickles. tickles? Yeah. You like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> how much does this cost? How much? Yeah, but with that being said, like the, the night spots, this area, uh, it's just absolutely amazing. I'll put the name of the area in the caption. Uh, it's like Simiyak, that's how they say it. And yeah, I, nobody was wearing their mask. COVID was out the window in all of Indonesia. Um, but yeah, they were, people were having a good time and I had a good time too. <laughs> Definitely a place to check out. The next day though, we went back to, you know, the whole, you know, nature stuff. Went to go see the monkey. I don't know, I guess you would say it's a, a safe place for monkeys to just explore and expand their um, their stuff. I don't know what else to say about that, but yeah, it was all right. It was cool, it was different. Um, but the real spot, and I'm telling you right now, the real spot is Atlas, how do you say it? Umbed, Umbed, some, uh, hey, YouTubers correct me or comment, whatever. But this place right here, Atlas Harim, Bali, was, it blew me away. I was not expecting anything close to this. I had no idea that something like this even existed on earth. But you'll see Instagram photos of people doing this whole swing thing. The grounds are just immaculate. I don't know who, how much they're paying their gardeners, but these guys are gotta be getting paid a lot because it is pristine, perfect, and it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all, but you definitely want to come check this place out. Atlas Harim Bali. Once you're done doing the little swing thing, you know, there's a lot of little places where you can go and get your little Instagram shot on. And, you know, just get something really unique that you're just not going to see in pictures anywhere because this place is I've never seen anything like it um, and I've been a lot of places some great shots you got the bridges you can run across bridges it's all types of fun stuff to do out here um, definitely worth the time probably expect to spend about an hour hour and a half once you're done with that you can head up to the, the bar lounge dinner restaurant whatever you want to call it note they run out of food early i don't understand that maybe it's because they close early i don't know what the deal was i guess they came there to party we came there to to do some pictures and stuff and swings so so if you made it through this much of the video thank you i appreciate it thanks for watching the video if you haven't subscribed take this opportunity to subscribe and the next spot we will be going to is south africa we're going to be stopping in johannesburg we're going to be going by cape town uh, we're going to get a whole new experience. It's something I've never done. I've dreamt of it. COVID hit and then I didn't get to do it. And now we're going to do it. Uh, also on top of that, we'll be hitting up Dubai. I have some business to pick up there. And we'll talk about that in that video at a later date. But until next time, Mr. Black Adventures, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just hit it in the comments. And if you like this video, it's okay to hit the like button. Hit it. It's okay. Okay, until next time, talk to you soon. Out.